Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is gonna be one that I haven't really done before and I'm literally so excited to do. We're going to be doing a pack with me for 18 days in Italy, specifically this time, in a backpack. So I am going abroad for the first time ever. This is literally a lifelong dream. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm going to Italy for 18 days with my school, Lee University. My sister's going on the trip with me and a bunch of other students. Um, we are currently, actually this week, taking our classes for the trip since this is a school trip. So we're taking two classes. We're in class all day, all week, and we leave this upcoming Monday. So today it is Tuesday, May 10th, and we leave Monday, May 16th. And I wanted to start this video off um, today and do a couple packing things, which we'll see momentarily. And this video will be continued pretty much all the way up until we leave with how I'm packing and organizing everything. So with this being a school trip, plus we are traveling to I think seven different cities while we're in Italy, um, they do want us to keep everything in a carry-on size backpack. So I'm going to be packing all of my things for this entire trip in a Cotopaxi Alpa 42 liter backpack, which I will also show you guys momentarily. But I wanted to make this little video because I thought it would be fun, informative, plus just kind of documenting my experiences. I'm really excited about this trip, so I wanted to film a video for you guys. Just as a heads up, there will be travel vlogs. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to look like, and I'm not going to be uploading while I'm in Italy by any means. If you guys want to keep up with my Italy adventures, go over and follow me on Instagram at Jade Benward. Um, I will be posting so much. I already know. I will have an obsessive amount of posts. It's just going to happen. And then when I get back from the trip, I'm going to hopefully kind of get all of my clips together and do some little travel diaries, travel vlogs, um, going over my trip with you guys. So you definitely want to subscribe to be in the loop for that. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do with you guys, actually go over some of the things that I purchased for this trip. Do a little bit of a haul for you guys. Obviously, this is one of my first experiences traveling, very first experience going abroad. Um, so it's definitely a lot of things that I needed to pick up and I've been doing a lot of research these past couple months in preparation for this trip. So let me give you guys a quick haul. So first up and most importantly is the backpack that I'm gonna be using. This is the Cotopaxi Alpa Travel Pack in the 42 liter size. This dude was so hard to find. This was um, one of the first things that I got for this trip and one of the things I knew I really wanted and I have been looking for months to try and find a used one somewhere but there are literally just none. There's barely even any on the Cotopaxi website because this is the largest size. But I knew I wanted this backpack so I won't go uh, too in depth in it. You'll see it later in the video when we're actually packing stuff up. But um, I will give you guys a quick look inside. This is kind of what it looks like on the outside. It's like this full weatherproof material. Cotopaxi is known for their very colorful designs, but me being me, just wanted the all black one. I'll be so honest. This is what the back looks like. Obviously, we got backpack straps, hip straps, chest straps, and these all can be like tucked inside the back, which is really nice. It's also got handles on the side and the top. I added this little bandana thing myself to add a little pizzazz. Um, so it can be carried like a duffel bag if you want. Right inside the front, we have a little pocket here with some organizers. It's pretty deep. There's organizers on the inside pocket as well. This is just for easy to access things that you might need in the airport or anything like that. Again, it also comes with a strap for it to be like a duffel bag. Then why I really wanted this one and I thought it would be excellent for this trip, it actually has a full zipper that goes around the side. Hold it's gonna be kind of hard to show and it opens and lays flat kind of like a hard shell suitcase would be that's gonna be the backpack that I pack everything in for this entire trip Moving on to a couple other things I picked up specifically for this trip. The first thing is I got these pairs of socks. These are the Balega socks. Um, they are the no-show ones, but they have kind of, they're just sturdier, nicer socks. They've got reinforced heels on them. Um, they're moisture wicking, they're compressive. Um, they have an extra deep heel pocket. They're super padded. We're gonna be doing a ton of walking while I'm in Italy. Everything that we're going to is pretty much gonna be walking there and we can be walking 10 plus miles a day. So getting up some pairs of good socks was definitely a necessity. Next, I just picked up a pack of these foldable hangers. I probably won't bring all of these, but I just thought I would pick up a couple to if I have some nice dresses and stuff like that that I'm gonna bring, I can hang them up. Um, we're gonna be staying in a variety of different places to live. Some might have hangers, some might not, so good to bring a couple extra. Next, I got this little clear pouch. My sister, being an icon, was the one that ordered these things. I'm about to show you guys because she was more on top of it than I was during the semester, but a little clear pouch for my liquids. This is actually laundry detergent in a little dissolvable sheet form, so they're really easy to pack, plus it's not a liquid. We will be washing clothes about every five days in Italy, which is super nice, so you really only have to pack for about five days at a time. Um, I'll probably bring a few extras, but but these are just to wash our clothes. I got this Keptix Pack World Travel Adapter. Um, this is just so that our plugs and chargers and everything like that will fit into the European sockets. 
Next, I just have this little portable charger for our phones and the little charger cord that goes with it. I do not want my phone dying in Italy because I will get lost. Now on some things that I ordered, and I'm still waiting for a few things to come in the mail, but the next thing I have is this little memory foam travel pillow. So this is again, one of those neck pillows that can go around your neck like that on the plane, but also it's got the, like a wire pole on the inside. You can't feel it, but it is in there. So you can kind of twist it and contort it in a lot of different ways to fit however you're wanting to rest on the plane. We are flying out of Atlanta to Philadelphia first and then from Philadelphia to Rome and that will be a nine hour flight. So I'm definitely gonna wanna be sleeping. Next, I just got a pack of these little white ankle socks. I mainly honestly bought these just for myself to have because I've been wanting socks with this height, but I definitely will be bringing a lot of these to Italy just to prevent blisters. I will be wearing sneakers the whole time, but I am nervous about getting blisters around my ankles, so that'll kind of eliminate that problem. Next, I got this little passport holder. My passport and my COVID card are in here, so I'm not gonna open it up for you guys, but this is a really nice one that has pockets for um, your COVID card, plus your passport. It has a little pin in there, cute, which is super cute, and little slots at the top for money. So this will come in a lot of handy. I also bought a new pair of sunglasses. I thought I would just throw them in there. Um, I wanted something cheap so if I lost them or break them, or, or broke them, is that what I'm trying to say right now? It would not be a lot lost. So these were only $12.99. They are super cute, honestly. I've seen these all over TikTok and I think they're just so adorable. And I can see myself in Italy wearing these bad boys. All of this stuff is from Amazon if I didn't already mention. So if I can find links to things, I will link them down below um, for all of you guys' travel necessities. Now this looks a little crazy right now because I've opened it all up, but this is just a little travel bottle set. So I have some different TSA approved size bottles to put my shampoo and conditioner and different stuff like that in. And then again, another little clear toiletry bag, which will definitely come in handy. And I got a little set of packing cubes. I won't go through all of these, but they again are from Amazon, a really good price um i love the little tan nude color but we have um like some shoe bags it actually came with a little hanging toiletry bag which i didn't even know it was going to come with and so that's really nice um we have just a variety of different pouches and little sacks and then of course, just the traditional like mesh cubes. And I love how the bigger cubes actually have straps in the inside to be able to compress your clothes. So excited to get to pack with packing cubes. I've never packed with packing cubes before and I'm pumped. Next, just a couple random toiletry items that I picked up from Target in smaller sizes. Again, I'll be using a lot of my own things and just re-bottling them into the smaller bottles, but some things I just thought it was more practical to just buy them in smaller forms. So first I have a little Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. I'm gonna go kind of quickly through these because this is, video is already really long, which is hilarious, but I'll be speeding. I have the Nivea Essential Enriched Body Lotion. <laughs> I have a little mini deodorant. I have two of these little mini beach defense sunscreens. Um, I got two of a couple things because I'm just really scared of running out and I know that I can buy things in Italy, but since it's just my first time abroad, I get a little nervous. I'm not gonna be able to find what I need. Um, so I also got two of these little baby toothpastes. And maybe y'all can let me know in the comments that I am being ridiculous, but just for some reason, I really fear that for 18 days, like one bottle of something is just not gonna last me long enough because they feel so small, but it probably will and I'm being crazy, but doesn't even matter. Um, but I got two of these little Love Beauty and Planet plant-based body washes. I got the mini of the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. And lastly, a little mini thing of cotton swabs. Oh, and some spray sunscreen. Didn't mention that, but there it is. So that is everything so far that I have purchased for my trip. I'm quickly gonna mention the two other bags I'm gonna be bringing with me on my trip. So while we are walking around Italy, just because it's such a big like pickpocketing area, um, especially in more of the touristy areas and just for convenience sake. Um, the bag I'm gonna be carrying with me actually is just this little Lululemon belt bag. I love this thing. I've had it for like a year now and it just kind of wears across like that. But this way I can keep everything in the front and where I can see it um, and just keeps things more safe. Plus it's just practical with how much walking we're gonna be doing. I'm not gonna wanna be lugging around a big bag anyways. So pretty much this will just have like wallet, phone, and then the camera I'm filming on right now is actually the only camera I'm bringing, surprisingly. It might bring a film camera. But as of right now, this is the only one I'm bringing. This is just my little Canon G7X that I got for my birthday. And honestly, a huge reason that I got this camera or wanted this camera is just to have a super high quality camera that can take videos and photos that's really small and can fit in my fanny pack. Cause I originally was gonna bring my Canon 70D, but I'm just too scared of losing it or breaking it. It's a very expensive camera. Um, plus storing it, like just like traveling with it, it's gonna take up so much space in my already pretty 
small backpack situation that I have to do. So I went with this little guy right here. And then the other bag that I'm going to be bringing as my personal item on the plane is just this little black long shot bag. I just think this is so good. It's a nice little nylon texture. It's really sturdy. I've had this for years. Um, plus, I just love that it zipped up like the whole way. Just so nothing would be lost if I dropped it. We don't have to deal with spilling and stuff like that. Really love that bag, great size. So that's pretty much everything I have as far as today. Again, this vlog will be over the course of a couple days as we're picking out outfits, figuring it out how to fit it all in the bag, and then getting ready for the trip, whatever that looks like. So. I'll see okay, you guys so hey guys, it's a couple days later, um, and I actually did a little bit more shopping just now, um, and I thought I would give you a quick haul of some more products that I got. So I realized in the last couple days that there's actually a couple more things that I'm either running really low on in my life or just need for the trip. So I did a little Ulta and Target trip. Also, I feel like the lighting looks really weird on this, and I just don't know what to do about that. First up, I got the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion SPF 50. I really needed a good face sunscreen that wasn't going to break me out because my skin is breaking out really bad right now and it sucks. Sorry, also by the way, for how crusty I look right now. But this one's really good. Um, it's really great for your skin and it also can go underneath makeup, which is what I wanted to. We're going to be outside all day long in very intense heat so a sunscreen was definitely um, a must so I wanted to get a good one. Next, I pretty much got like an entire new skincare routine. So like I said, I've been running out a lot of my skincare products. Also, they just really haven't been working for me. Um, so I wanted to invest in some more, like pretty much a new routine because my skin is just breaking out and doing really bad. All of these products are from The Ordinary, so they're a pretty good price point, but they're super good quality. So first, I got two different serums. The first one is the Caffeine Solution. So this one reduces the appearance of like under eye bags and puffiness really wakes your skin up. And then I got the niacinamide 10% in zinc. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral for specifically blemishes. Niacinamide is a miracle ingredient when it comes to my skin. So really excited to just have a super concentrated serum of that. Next, I just got the squalene cleanser. This is just a very basic facial cleanser that shouldn't hurt my skin too bad. And then I just got the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid um, Moisturizer. This stuff is so good, it feels literally amazing on the skin. Next, I needed more concealers, and plus I wanted some that maybe I could wear on my own without like a another base product. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I got two different shades because I had no idea which one I was gonna be, but I've seen this all over TikTok and I've seen this all over the internet for months now. It's not a new product. It was a new product a little while ago, but it's not anymore. Um, and I've just really wanted to try it out, but it's always sold out in like the lighter shades that I would need. So really excited to try that out. I also just picked up this Morphe Bacon Set Translucent Setting Powder. I usually use a compact setting powder just because I find it so much easier. Um, and I can show you the one that I got because I got some restocks of it. But I am just the littlest bit worried with traveling with my makeup internationally that all of my powder products are going to break. Especially the setting powder because it's such a fine powder that it does actually break pretty easily. Um, so I did pick up a little like loose powder just just in case I don't want to get over there and literally not have a setting powder. My skin is too oily to handle that. And then I actually ended up getting four of my favorite setting powders. They are not very expensive. Um, they're like $3 or $3.50 or something like that, but they were on sale for buy one get one 50% off and I blow through these. So I decided, and they're, they've been my favorite for years at this point. So I decided to get four because I knew I would use them. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I just feel like it makes my skin look really good. It really does set it in and keep it matte all day long. Plus it's really inexpensive. I don't like spending a lot of money on setting powder. So this is a really good one if you haven't uh, tried it and I got four. So <laughs> we're stocked. Then from Target, I first just picked up a little box of tampons. I do think I'm supposed to start my period on this trip. So that is just the slightest bit unfortunate. But we have supplies now. This also may seem a little random, but I got these um, Demi Fine 14 karat plated like gold earrings. They're just like little gold thick, like medium sized hoops. I think they're really cute. I love wearing a gold hoop. I had these gold hoops that I really, really liked, but they did tarnish pretty bad. And my ears are really sensitive. So I have to have things that are either sterling silver or real gold. So um, I picked those up. I hope that they don't irritate my ears. I don't think they will. And they're really cute. So I knew I just wanted some new earrings before I went on this trip. I was like, I haven't been wearing earrings for a little while because I haven't had any that haven't like corroded. So I needed some new ones. This was not necessarily a trip necessity, but like I said, my skin be wilding recently. And I saw these on TikTok and was like, I literally must put those on my face. 
These are the Hero Mighty Patch nose strips. So these are like those like little pimple patches, but like a whole nose strip version. And my pores are so clogged and so dirty in my nose. And I am almost terrified to see how much gunk this pulls out of my face because I know it will pull out a lot. I'll honestly probably put one on my chin too, just cause. I made it. Next up, I just got this little notebook. Um, we have to have a notebook for our trip, and so I used this other leather notebook that I had because I didn't have time to run out and get one at the beginning of the week for class, but it is my prayer journal. <laughs> so, or was going to be my prayer journal because I'm about to run out of pages in the current one that I'm using. Um, so I did pick up a new one just so that I would have a fresh one when I ran out of pages. Um, my prayer journals are very, very important to me. Um, this is just like a pearlescent white. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's got a little like kind of engraving design on it and then it says be well i just feel like it's so pretty i love the inside cover it's got lines and it's got the little pages with the dates at the top anyways not really travel related but very important then i picked up a little pack of makeup removing wipes these are just the up and up target brand refreshing wet cleansing towelettes and lastly i got this little travel size of it's a 10 miracle leave-in product i've really been needing some different hair products but just specifically something to bring on this trip because my hair is just too crazy to not have any hair product so excited to bring that one so that is everything that i bought oh frick i forgot glue sticks it's okay it's fine we're gonna be okay that is everything i bought i think that is literally everything i could possibly need for this trip and for life and whatever even though i really should have gotten toilet paper while i was there too for the apartment <laughs> but the next thing we're gonna do is i'm actually gonna start pulling some clothes that i'm thinking i'm going to want to bring on the trip and i'm gonna do little outfit try-ons with you guys and we are going to sit down together and plan the clothes i'm gonna bring my outfits the whole nine yards stuff like that Okay, outfit number one, and it's already a guarantee that it's coming with me. So I wasn't gonna like film these little clips and show you guys my outfits until I had like for sure picked out which couple I was gonna bring, but there's just no way I don't bring this. It is so cute. I can't really show you the whole outfit because I don't have a full length mirror here, but it's just this cute little, like in the colors do not show up right on the screen. Maybe they will when I edit them, but right now it looks weird. I have a cute little bandana that I'm gonna bring a couple of these because I just feel like they're cute. These are the new earrings. <laughs> So it's been a hot sec, but I got all of my clothes and accessories and rain jackets and all that different stuff packed into my four packing cubes. You guys watched kind of some time-lapse videos of, I think, two of those packing cubes, but they all fit in this one little half of my backpack, the big deep pocket. So I still have like this whole big space and this whole big area um, for my toiletries and all the rest of my stuff. I was really hoping to get all my clothes on this side. I could not fit a, another pair of shoes. So if I wanna bring another pair of shoes, they will have to go on this side. Um, I am feeling okay about space on everything, but also at the same time, like so nervous that I'm not gonna have enough space, but um, I'm not showing myself right now because I look pretty crusty, but I think this is pretty much all we're going to do today. If I do anything, I might just get like my toiletry sorted, but yeah, there is my little packing update. That's how the backpack's looking. It's going great. All right, guys. So it is now Friday, May 13th, the next day from the last clips you saw. As you saw last night, I went through my outfits and tried them on. I didn't really get the best try on clips ever because if I didn't preface, I'm like not... 
This is the townhome I'll be living in, but I'm also not in the room I'm gonna be in yet, and everything is just a little bit in disarray right now. We're kind of like fully moving in when I get back from Italy. So I don't have everything put together right now. But um, after I did that and packed it all in the suitcase, I kind of ended the vlog. Um, but I did actually start going through and working on toiletries and liquids and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm gonna hop on here and show you what I have done really quickly and kind of go through all the different things that I'm bringing. So first, I actually have two of these little quart-sized bags of liquids. I was really nervous at first that I was only going to be allowed one quart-sized bag of liquids because I was packing them last night and I was like, I cannot put all of my liquids in one quart size bag. And so I asked our professors today and they said that it would be fine if I had to. So hopefully I don't regret this when I get to TSA and cannot get all of my liquids through. But as for right now, I have two of these bags and I'm gonna go through what's in them. So without dismantling everything and taking it apart, I thought I would just kinda point through the bag here for you guys. But I have some leave-in product, I have Neosporin if I get any blisters, lotion, these are my two ordinary serums I use as part of my skincare routine. I've got a tube of toothpaste, dry shampoo, my body wash, little travel size. In here I have my shampoo. I have two different shampoos in little squeezy bottles. One of them is smaller and it has my clarifying shampoo that I use like every couple of days, not every time I wash my hair, and then my like normal shampoo in this top one. I have another body wash because I don't know why, and maybe 3.4 ounces will last me longer than I think, but I'm just nervous that like for 18 days I'm gonna need more than just like one bottle of body wash, so I have two. I just have this little spray bottle that has some micellar water. I have makeup wipes too, but this is just really good um, for getting off like small amounts of makeup or anything around my eyes. I have my super goop uh, face sunscreen in there. I have this little spray bottle, which actually has my heat protectant, which that reminds me, I need to find my straightener somewhere in my boxes of packed things because I do want to bring that. And I think that that is everything that is in this one. Then in my second one, this one is a little bit less full, but still has a ton of stuff in it. I just have my setting spray. I have my um, little spray sunscreen. I have like a foundation. I have my cleanser and my moisturizer. I also learned how big 3.4 ounces really is. Like this is my full size moisturizer. Like look how big this thing is. And it says it's like three point something ounces. Um, and like I have my whole setting spray and my whole little sunscreen right here. And they're all like less than 3.4 ounces, which I think is really crazy. But I just have like my concealers and my primers and like eyebrow gel and like a lip gloss. So this is kind of like liquid makeups and then a couple additional liquid skincare things. Then not really liquids. I started to pack just the rest of my toiletries into this little toiletry bag. They actually ended up coming with my um, oh, there's a little pocket in the back. I didn't even see it actually came with my packing cubes and I really like it So I kind of love that they're all like a cute little matching set But this one opens up like this. I have all of my contacts in the top part. I did not realize How many contacts you would need for 18 days? I do wear dailies so I have a lot in here um, and then I have a little travel size deodorant I've got a chapstick and band-aids again I'm just really worried about getting blisters with how much we're walking and in this little front pouch I have a small little thing of q-tips and then I think I'm also gonna put some cotton rounds in there Then in the big pocket is actually pretty much all makeup. Um, I'm not like I don't bring a ton of makeup But I did want to bring enough to like do my whole face makeup if I wanted to but I have my hairbrush And then I just have my little brushes on top I've got a pack of makeup wipes and then in these little pockets around the periphery Which I just thought was really cool that it even had pockets Might I say is all the rest of like my powder makeup products. And then other things I'm gonna have to throw in here a little closer to date are gonna be like my razor and a couple other things. I haven't like super in depth done toiletries yet. I have a list that I'll have to go through and like check off and make sure I have everything. But that's what I have so far and worked on yesterday and today during my lunch break. And then other things I've packed, I just have Celsius packets and a Ziploc bag, one for every single day. I don't think I'm going to use one every single day but you never know and I just don't wanna be all sluggish and tired. And then I use these little cute containers that came with my like travel size stuff um, for my doll because I am supposed to start my period on the trip, which sucks and I get really bad cramps. So my doll, I have a little thing of Advil. And then this one, I'm gonna put my allergy medicine in. It's just downstairs, so I haven't done that yet. And now we're kind of on to packing that other side of my backpack. I know I kind of showed you guys it earlier, but this is what it looks like. So like I said, I have all my clothes and everything in this big side over here, but now we just have this side left with like this big pocket and that like front pocket, this pocket, and then of course the pocket on the front as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly where to put everything. I do know that I'm gonna have to get my liquids and electronics out for easy access, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and put my toiletries in this little front pocket right here, at least my liquid parts. 
and then like tech stuff can go in there too but i think a lot of my tech will go in my personal item bag too so this is where i'm also stumped as far as what to put in my personal item the personal item bag that i'm thinking about using is again just this little black tote bag and what i have in there so far which is not even a lot is literally just my neck pillow that i've already shown you guys and my blanket and it takes up so much of my personal item that I'm hoping I don't need much more else than that in this bag because I don't really have a lot of room for it. All right, so what I have attempted to put in here is I have my camera chargers, my SD cards, and my little charging adapter. And then I have my two toiletry bags. I'll probably pop my, well, actually, no, I'll probably put my phone charger in my personal item bag. This is what I can fit in this little front pocket. We're going to see if it zips up, um, and I'll give you guys an update later. And success that actually was not very hard at all so that's exciting okay so hey guys it's a little bit later I have been working on this but also I just really was losing steam so I definitely took a break for a hot second I'm not gonna lie I have been so excited about this trip I mean like I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video this is like my lifelong dream so it's still like not even real that I'm gonna be there but I do think a little bit of nerves have set in like I'm just nervous about not having something that I'm gonna need and I know that most things you know that like I don't have I can very easily buy over there but it's just the fact that like it's my first time on a long flight it's my first time going international it's my honestly one of my first times flying ever I just don't even know like what I'm gonna need and I feel so unprepared which like there's a first time for everything and like it you know it this is my first time going abroad and like it's kind of crazy that my first time going abroad is going over there for 18 days over two and a half weeks but um obviously that makes it just really that much more exciting um i just am worried about like being not prepared or have done doing something wrong or whatever but um so i got a little discouraged but i picked myself back up i got everything packed i think i'm pretty much packed i mean i'm gonna have to throw in my toothbrush and my phone charger and uh, work on my personal item bag a little bit more. I'll show you guys in a minute like what I have that, but like my main bag I think is packed and now I just have to zip it up. It's definitely stuffed to the max, hoping it will zip up. We will find out, but let me show you guys how I organized it. Again, I am just really hoping that I have everything I need in this top pocket. I've got glasses. Yes, they're not a case. I don't have a case for them. We're just going to hope they don't get break. Um, I have tampons, Celsius packets, a little bag for laundry, extra pens. I have my travel notebook because we have to journal on this trip. Then in this pocket, um, I've got my film camera and extra film because I had a little extra room in here. I have an extra pair of sneakers and then my toiletry bag um, that I did update and put more things in. And then there's a little extra room in this one just for, I know I'm probably going to acquire a souvenir or two. I want to buy a sweatshirt or something like that while I'm there. Like I would have a little bit of extra room in here to put it because I just don't have much extra room anywhere else. Again, clothes are over there, but this is kind of what my backpack looks like all packed up for you guys' reference. Now I'm going to try and close it. Pray that that works as we did it. We got her packed, had to sit on her for a minute there, but... She's all in there. I'm gonna actually set it up on the bed and uh, try it on for the first time. It is gonna be really heavy. Um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, so she's on the bed. I'm gonna try her on. See how this goes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I can already feel it in my knees. Not that bad, actually. All right, I got all my straps adjusted. This is what she looks like. Guys, we freaking did it, I think. Hopefully also, why is this not focusing? Hello. Okay, guys. Well, that angle's not working for me right now. Okay, so if I attach my little neck pillow to the strap, which looks like really stupid, I feel like. I just feel like that looks really dumb, which I might just have to deal with it. Um, I definitely have like a little bit more wiggle room in here. It's still very full, but like I could probably fit some snacks. I could probably put like a little plastic water bottle in there that I could fill up once I get past security yeah. and it does zip pretty easily, which is one of the reasons I wanted to bring this bag was because it zipped. But this is kind of what it would look like. I just feel like that's so obnoxious. I'm just kind of weird, but I'm debating it trying to figure out what I should do. I don't really have money to buy another bag and I don't think I own a bigger bag than this other than like a full on duffel bag, which that defeats the purpose of, you know, packing light, have wearing your backpack, stuff like that. So we're going to figure it out. It's going to be great. I'll update you guys when I make a decision. All right, guys. So I think I made the decision probably just to have that thing on the outside. It looks a little crazy, but it's just going to have to be how it is. 
Anyways, I wanted to hop on here and end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm super excited to go to Italy. Again, like I mentioned, like I will be taking lots of clips, obviously a million pictures, so go over and follow me on Instagram for probably like 18 different posts, one for every day that we're there. I'm so excited. But I will be taking videos and hopefully doing some little travel diaries when I get back for you guys. Um, but with that being said, there probably won't be uploads for the next like two weeks or so because I'm gonna upload this video probably as I'm leaving to go to Italy and on Monday and then um, from there I'll be in Italy for two and a half weeks and then I'll have to get back and it's gonna take me a long time to put those videos together most likely because I know I'm just gonna have so much content and be so jet-lagged so be patient with me but thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe if you are not subscribed already to get ready for those Italy travel diaries coming your way to hear all about my trip and if you want to stay up to date and see what I'm doing in Italy every single day follow me on Instagram because you know yo girl it's gonna be posting so much over there I'm so excited for this trip I pretty much think that's everything that I'm bringing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. And in the next one, I will be a Italy girl. Crazy. Literally crazy. I love that for us, though. All right, guys. Bye. This is